this is a review of the Bruno Empower. This is going to be a series of videos showing you guys what I use on day to day basis in school, in class, or even in the real world. Mainly sighted people use paper and pencil. But what do low vision people use? Well, this is what are we going to experiment with today. This video is brought possible by Humanware Incorporated. So usually if someone throws you a braille note, it usually is it looks like this with this kind of leathery leathery case on it and on the top here um it says in braille and in print humanware. Um and basically this is the case Velcro on this side, there's two tabs to open the case and uh take the case off. But to open, to see the brand itself, there's a little tab down here. Just pull it up. There's Velcro, and then there you're presented with the brand up and power. So you're presented with your standard six-key Braille keyboard, which is dot one, two, three, four, five, six. But over here, uh, this is where it gets different. There's an inner key which on the typewriter is a backspace key and over here is the backspace key like a backwards backspace key and there's the space bar right in the center and this speaker here is for when you uh, want to listen to like music or even speech output on this little device so on the bottom here is a I, I, I think it's a 32 cell uh, braille display uh, it's just like a print screen, but it's in braille. For example, if I turn it on, you can't really see it there. Here, let me clear it out. Oops, sorry. That was just my tripod. You can see a little bit of the dots raised, and if you push space bar, that's main menu there. It goes to word processor. So, yeah. Uh, and on top here, you basically have your cursor keys. So. Just like the blinking cursors on a Mac or PC, uh, these these are the cursor keys. For example, if you if you type something to right here, if you want to move it back, just push this cursor key and it will go back. Or just push over in if you want to continue typing of where you left off. Feel to the place where you left off. Push the cursor key right there. So yeah, now you've just got into keyboard menu. Let me just escape it. Okay, so that's basically it for the uh, face part of it. On the bottom here is thumb keys. I don't, I don't really know what these two thumb keys are for, but I know this is next and this is previous. Um, it's just like the scroll bars on Windows. Um, this goes down, like goes down the document, like. Move the braille display down. If you can tell, if I push that, it moves down. So you can just use your thumb to navigate it. And previous is moving up the braille display. And over here is basically move from line to line. Uh, these two. Uh, this is moving forward a line and putting the cursor on the desired place that you choose and this is the uh, going back a line and putting the cursor where you desire and that's basically it for the exterior parts let me I will take off this uh, casing thingy and I will show you what it looks like so I took off the casing um, as you can tell <laughs> Um, sorry, I'm pushing a cursor button. Um, and there's the thumb thumb keys down there, the four thumb keys that I showed you before earlier. Over here, you can see that's a record button because it has a microphone built in, so it uses that microphone to record like little notes and all those sorts of stuff. It records in the format WAV WAV format, and it does open on a Mac and it does open on Windows so yeah but it's not that good of a quality 
So that's line out, uh, which is for headphones or speakers, and that's line in for microphone or uh, anything like that. And that's the switch power on and off. If you turn it this way, it turns the printer on. Turn it this way, it turns itself off. And over here is a reset button. As you can tell, I can't. I don't know if you can tell on YouTube, but. I've been resetting this thing for a lot of times. So over here is where the power uh, adapter, AC adapter plugs in. It doesn't work with any kind of other adapter. I heard that uh, if you use another adapter, it might blow up. So yeah. And over here is, sorry, you can see my reflection kind of. Over here is the mini USB. Uh, it's those mini USB ports, and you can't barely see it. Right there is a SD card slot. So yeah, over here is a compact flash card slot for like compact compact flash. Over here is serial port um, to hook it up to a monitor. Uh, which I will show you in a, a later tutorial. These two are USB 2.0s. Um, for some of you, re weird reason, it doesn't recognize a 4 gig thumb drive, but it does recognize a 2 gig thumb drive though. Modem. <laughs> Who still uses modem here? <laughs> yeah, so it still has a modem right there to connect to a phone line. To go get online, or if you want to get on Ethernet way or wireless way, you need to stick a compact flash card into this slot right here. And over here is an infrared receiver for uh, printers or any kind of device that has to do uh, that uh, can connect to the printer. Over here is the PCI Express slot. Um, uh, as found on PCs or Macs, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically it for the uh, for the exterior parts. Well, the back. I need to cover up. I need to cover up the serial number, but there's the back. Um, it's just four rubber feet, and. Um, screws to open it. I might open it and upgrade it to 1 gig because this thing only has 256 mags. <sighs> uh, it might be 256. It might be 128 even. So it's not that much space at all. So yeah, that's basically it for the exterior parts. To put this thing back into its case, you need to um, as you can tell, this is the case. This is the burnout case. It's basically very soft in the inside. And there's a hole for the um, serial port and the AC adapter right there. And a card port right there. And a zipper. Basically, how do you put it in? Well, you. I guess it's simple. You put it in through this tab on top here. It's just slide in pretty easily. And um, see this tab right here? You push this down and hit that click and then it locks into place. There's another tab over here. Usually the second tab is hard to get on because it's um, already stretched on the other side. There we go. And there you have it. That's basically it. If you guys want any further reviews of this product, please tell me so, and I'll be willing to give a further review of anything that you ask for. Um, that's basically it. Uh, and thank you for watching.